there was a um, phenomenon a little while ago. Uh, it's now ended officially, I understand. It was called the Brangelina um, phenomenon. That was Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. BRCA gene, everyone's afraid of the BRCA gene and breast cancer and ovarian cancer and everything. And then Angelina got it. And so, as you know, her choice was to, out of fear, was to uh, get different body parts removed and all that, just in case down the road. The unfortunate thing about that is she was very, very seriously misled for a moment, except the fact that if you have this particular genetic problem, that you are very likely to get ovarian cancer and other breast cancer. Okay, so you cut off your breasts and your ovaries and your uterus. Well, it also puts you at the same risk of getting pancreatic cancer and colon cancer. You certainly can't take out your pancreas and your colon. Um, it's a, a repair mechanism for broken double-stranded DNA. You know, DNA is double-stranded. When it's dividing and, and the cells are replicating, it can, it can break and they can have a problem. And we have repair mechanisms. Well, when that repair mechanism is genetically flawed, that's what they call the BRCA gene. You inherit it from your mother or your father and it can happen to the son or the daughter. So it's not just a female phenomenon. Even if you're, you inherit one, you still have to get what's called a somatic mutation. That means during this lifetime, you have to have enough toxicity to, to hurt this arm so that you have a fully defective ability to repair double-stranded DNA. And that's very difficult. So even though someone were to go get everything removed, they still have to do what you should have done, in the, what you needed to have done in the first place, what we all need to do in the first place, and that is eat healthy, go to sleep early, you know, all the things we need to do to make our bodies so that they don't make cancer. Mm -hmm.